Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Governor DeWine extending Ohio's overnight curfew through the holidays in hopes of stopping the spread of coronavirus. And with the help of a dozen doctors from around the state, DeWine also announcing stay safe Ohio protocols. It's a list of 10 things U.S. residents are being asked to do for the next 21 days to control the spread of coronavirus. It includes staying home, wearing masks, working from home whenever possible, limiting travel, and not eating or drinking with anyone outside of our households. And that comes as nearly 12,000 new coronavirus cases were reported in Ohio today. 452 people hospitalized with COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Another 111 coronavirus deaths were reported. Five counties stayed at the highest level on Ohio's public health advisory map, and all of them are in northeast Ohio. We're talking about Medina, Portage, Richland, Stark, and Summit counties. Ashland is now on the watch list. The Ohio Supreme Court unanimously upheld the death penalty for the serial killer who murdered at least five women. Sean Gray tried to argue that there were mistakes during his trial, and his defense attorneys were ineffective. However, the court found nothing denied Great of a fair trial. Great was sentenced to death for killing two women in Ashland County. He also received life in prison for killing two women in Richland County. He also pleaded guilty to the murder of a woman from Marion County. Great is expected to appeal today's ruling. A traffic stop for speeding turned into a manhunt in Lake County. State troopers stopped a car on I-90 and found out the driver had an outstanding warrant. But when they tried to arrest him, he took off in the car and troopers followed. The driver didn't get far before he jumped out of that car. The car crashed near Ruman Road and the driver ran off, eventually ending up in a ravine where he was caught. Investigators found a stolen gun in that vehicle. Mark, what you know good? What we know good is Friday we're going to warm you up after a cool overnight. Most of us, though, staying above freezing, partly cloudy, cool and dry. Tomorrow, though, look at this. Ooh. 50s, 50s. Can you hear that melting snow? Scattered clouds, dry and warmer. Even we're staying mild Saturday, 54, but we're going to add in some rain. Have a good night. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.